All right, so let's look into the next step here, the uh, step number four, WLAN service data forwarding. So once we go through the step number one, number two, and number three, now the traffic can flow. In this slide, we look into the control packet or management packet and data packet are transmit over the cat web tunnel. Uh, we already learned this earlier on. So we have a control packet that forward through the uh, tunnel. And we also have a user data packet where the actual user data is being forwarded. So here I want you to look into two modes. We can do a centralized forwarding mode or we can use a local forwarding mode. So what are the two, uh, why that there are two modes and what are the differences and what is the pro and cons between these two modes. So let's look into this forwarding mode now. Okay, so we have two scenarios. So first we have a tunnel forwarding mode. In this legend, you can see that the blue color represent this uh, cat web and the uh, solid red line here represent a service data traffic and the dotted red line here uh, means that it's a management traffic. So the AP need to have the management traffic is actually being controlled by the access controller. Now when the station, in this case, this particular uh, laptop want to connect to the internet, first it will connect to the access point, then it will connect into the switch, then go into the switch, the aggregation switch, then pass to the AC, then the AC approve it, then it going back into the same link, go to the switch before it go into the internet. So this is the path that they actually pass through. So in this mode, we call it as a tunnel mode. Control and data are all flow through the AC. In tunnel forwarding mode, an AP encapsulate data packet over a cat web data tunnel. Remember, uh, we mentioned that this is a UDP tunnel and they are using the uh, DLT, which is an encrypted tunnel, and send them to an AC. The AC then forward the packet to the upper uh, layer network. Now this is good because that you have a centralized control and the data have to pass through the AC but then your AC will be very busy, all right? So you need uh, to have a capable AC, else your AC will become a potential bottleneck. Now, second mode here is a direct forwarding. So the difference is very obvious. As you can see here that the data traffic is actually going through the station to the AP, to the access switch, to the distribution switch, and then directly go out into the internet. Only the management traffic is going through the cat web. So in direct forwarding mode, AP directly forward data packet to an upper layer network without encapsulating them over a cat web data tunnel. So this will solve the bottleneck that we mentioned because the cat web tunnel only control the AP. Again, the disadvantage over here is the AC will not able to see the data, okay? So that is the uh, direct forwarding. But direct forwarding is more efficient because it doesn't use the uh, AC CPU or the bandwidth.